Hello everyone. Being an online store owner, you must be aware that images have the potential to guide purchase decisions. Now, if that's mismanaged, they could slow down your e-commerce website and drive visitors away. Thus, in today's video, let's take a look at how to resize images for WooCommerce. I'm Aparna Singh from LearnWoo, and let's get started. Let's first take a look at how you can change the default product image and thumbnail dimensions. Now you can easily do that using the WordPress customizer. For that, just go to WordPress dashboard. Now go to appearance and click customize. Then select WooCommerce and click product images. Here you can change the main image and thumbnail width by simply typing in the new values. The main image width controls the image dimensions of the single product pages, while the thumbnail width determines the image sizes used in the catalog. Now here I prefer keeping the main image width at 600 and the thumbnail width at 300. Now you can also set an aspect ratio for cropping product thumbnails. You can crop them into square with the 1 is to 1 option. You can set your custom aspect ratio from the custom option here. And leave the images uncropped which means that the images will display using the aspect ratio in which they were uploaded. Now this entire resizing WooCommerce product images option is not provided in all themes. Being able to use this particular option may completely depend on the theme you are using. So make sure to check that. Like here if you see Astra theme lets you customize image widths. However, the default 2020 theme hides the option in the customizer. Next, let's see how you can change the image sizes using hooks. Now, if we take a look, there are three image sizes defined in WooCommerce. One is WooCommerce Single, then there is WooCommerce Thumbnail, and then there is WooCommerce Gallery Thumbnail. The single size displays the full product image the way it is uploaded, and it has a default size of 600 pixels. Meanwhile, the thumbnail size is the one used in your catalog, where it's cropped into a square shape and has a default size of 600 pixels. And lastly, the gallery thumbnail is used in your image gallery, where it's square cropped to 100 by 100 pixels. You can use the WC get image size function to get image size definitions and modify them. You can change the dimensions of your thumbnails to 300 by 300 pixels with the help of a hook. For that, go to WordPress dashboard, appearance, themes file editor. Now go to functions.php file. At the bottom, add this code. Once done, click Save Changes. Next, let's see how you can optimize images in WordPress. Well, WordPress has a built-in tool to resize and crop images. Now for that, go to WordPress dashboard, head to Media Library and select an image to resize. Then click edit image. Here you can scale down the image dimensions. Here you can see original dimension of this image. Now to optimize the images, let's first find out the optimum size. For that, go to your website, right click and inspect any page of your website. Now move your cursor until you find a highlight full width column in blue. The first number is the width of your theme's content. In this case, it means any image we upload should not be more than this number of pixels. So head back to your image editing page where we left and type the new width here. According to whatever width we enter, the height will automatically be calculated based on that existing aspect ratio. Now once done, click scale. Now once the image has been scaled, next you can also crop the image using this button. When you're done, click save and the images will be optimized accordingly. However, you can also use WordPress plugins like Smush Image Compression and Optimization and eWWW Image Optimizer to bulk compress images on your website automatically. 
Now, these image compressors remove unnecessary information like camera details, metadata, embedded thumbnails, and color profiles to reduce their size. Now, if you want a detailed knowledge on optimizing images, you can check out one of our videos on image optimization. The link to the video is mentioned in the description. And that's all. This is how you can easily resize images for WooCommerce. Do let us know in the comment section if this video was helpful to you. And if you like this video, give a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to keep getting updates on more such videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be signing off and we'll see you in the next video.